Introduction and Overview of the Hyrel 3D Dynamic Mixing Head and how it is connected. The Dynamic Mixing Head has input for two different materials and an active blending baffle which blends your two materials at your specified speed and then dispenses them. Here are two SDS heads along with the required parts to attach them to the dynamic mixing head. This includes the tubing and the lure adapters. You'll need a source for compressed air to actuate the valves. By default, we use a quarter inch tubing, but you can swap this out for other sizes. The other heads will install off to the sides, just like normal. This wire must be connected to one of the heads to trigger the valves on a dynamic mixing head. You will also have the mating connector, which should be attached as shown. Extra connectors are available. If you are using this with our high torque heads, ensure that your heads are situated such that the motors don't hit each other or anything else. The dynamic mixing head comes with an extended gib mount so that you can adjust your DMH up or down to account for which SDS heads you're using as well as which length mixing tube you opt for. To change the position up or down, remove the two circuit board screws as shown here, and then adjust the main part of the DMH up or down as needed. Please contact us for more details. Once all the heads are mounted properly, you want to connect your delivery tubing. This carries your materials from the syringes to the dynamic mixing head. Because our dynamic mixing head nozzle is so high, we'll use right angle connectors on our SDS heads here. Standard lure lock fittings are provided, but you can opt for other connection methods. We recommend pre-twisting the lure lock connector before attaching so that it's not under pressure to disconnect and it's also easier to connect. Do this for each connector. The lure connectors have threads 180 degrees apart. So if one lines up wrong, take it out and twist it 180 degrees and then try again. You want at least 60 PSI on the supply line to actuate the valves. This has been an overview of how the DMH is configured. For more information about HiRail equipment, please visit HiRail3D.net and HiRail3D.com. Email us, HiRail3D at gmail.com, or call us at 404-914-1748.